Coach, how has your life changed since your double bypass surgery? Well, I think a, a little bit has changed. Uh, I've been through a few things in my life, and this is one that was really, uh, it was never life-threatening at the time, but when, when they stop your heart for, for several, many minutes, for an hour, and they put you back wow. together, you sort of think, you know what? There's bigger things than basketball, and you better embrace it, live right, exercise, do the right things. You made some comments about the Michigan-Michigan State football rivalry yeah. lately I found very interesting. Tell me about yeah. that. Well, I, I just think it's very unique to have two powerful programs in the same state having so much success in, in football and basketball. And I don't think people appreciate that what, what we have done, what, time, what Coach Izzo and myself have done here, and Nat, Coach D'Antonio and Harbaugh, how tremendous it is. And yet we got great respect for each other. Yeah, we'll get at it. Tom and I are get, going to get at it. You're going to get at it. But I'm telling you what, the first first text I got after my operation, Tom Izzo, the first get well card was Mark D'Antonio. Wow, that's that's special. Uh, my and Jim Harbaugh, by the way, he was all course. over it all the way. But we, it's all good. Uh, my source, Dave Revson, tells me that you have a unique style offense. But more interesting to me is this defensive coordinator idea yeah. that's a football term what, what's yeah. that all about I, I we just had to do something we'd always been not always but we had opportunities where we've been elite in offense but we were top 100 in defense and uh, we fit we were thinking that maybe we we could do better and then just me doing it i sort of threw myself into it and said he, uh, luke yocklidge is the voice of our defense we we strategized to the morning but he, it's his call and it's really, it's really changed. He just, he's crazy. He just looks at defense. I would go crazy if I just had a look at defense. <laughs> I want to know about offense. If I was football, we'd be running bubble screens everywhere. You know, I love Very those good. things. So be innovative in offense, and he's innovative in defense. College basketball is great. Make it better. I think the biggest way to make it better is some way we magically could get every kid, no matter how long he is in college, embrace this experience. It's not coming back. It is not coming back. And if you can have your four years, three years, two years, one year in college and embrace it all like it's it's a destination, right? It's not a waypoint. Oh, man, they would enjoy college so much more. Howie Griffith, as you know, is on the set with us. Yep. And us, bas us football guys, whatever the basketball comes up, we call it short pants. <laughs> and so I hope you don't take offense to that. <laughs> That's okay. And, and the other thing is the people at the network they always appreciate your cooperation and your time. You're, yeah. you're one of I the favorite it. people in the, at the Big in Ten the Big Network. Big Ten Network it came, came to the Big Ten about the same time I get, came to the Big Ten. And I, we embrace it. Kathleen and I watch it religiously. We love the network. We realize it's a great uh, reason for the success of this league. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. Take care of yourself. Thank you very much. Thank you.